These are the same people who are the descendants of the ancient Hebrews. It's their land that they want to keep. They were the ones who were there first. They're the ones being cleansed what from is, their land by the Israelis. Thing, they were living there all along. But what, and what, what, for generations back into antiquity, when a bunch of Russians and Lithuanians and Germans and New Yorkers showed up and said the land belonged to them. The actual source is David Ben-Gurion himself. You're, you're, you're saying that, who that said, it, Muslims always... Uh, well, had, this land. had been there. That's right. Because here's why. Because when the Muslims came and took over that land, they did not cleanse the land of the people who lived there. And they did not invade it with a giant occupying force to replace them. All they did was take them over and tax them. And then the deal was, if you convert to Islam, you get a tax cut. Basically, you pay less. And the local people all converted to Islam and, and but wait but so these are the same people who are the descendants of the ancient Hebrews and the source for this is David Ben-Gurion himself ben, uh, ben Gurion says the ancient Hebrews never left so you so, can't take a farmer from his soil they were there the whole time and so the what was happening was the descendants of the ancient Hebrews in who had stayed in Palestine were being replaced by the descendants of the ancient Hebrews who'd gone off to Europe and then their descendants came home as though there's no statute of limitations and 3,000 years later you can come and say this is my land you can't live here <laughs>